Hi, I'm Deborah DiGiovanni, and I graduated from Humber's Comedy Writing and Performance program the very first year. It was uh, 1999 to 2000. Why did I want to get into comedy? I ask myself that almost every day, uh, as does my father. I really felt like my whole life was just leading up to it. Like, I really did. I was one of those, I was never the class clown, but I was always the one that made their friends laugh. And the first time I ever did stand-up was in the class. And it was the, that was it. It was really one of those just like, oh, here we go, this is what I've been looking for. And, and then stand-up just, I knew it was the, the thing. I started getting paid for stand-up pretty quickly, so I was very fortunate. I'd probably say in like in my second year. And then in the second year, I also got nominated and won the best newcomer in comedy with the Canadian Comedy Awards, and that was a cash prize at the time. And that, so it was all those things. And then, um, gosh, I think I, I think I was, I went to Just for Laughs in like year five. And then because of that, I met Russell Peters and I went on tour with Russell Peters at the end of 2005 and 2006. And I, that was, I quit my day job in 2005. <laughs> I got Last Comic Standing um, in 2007. And that was again, a huge, um, that, was, that was a huge opportunity as well. And um, that was, it was me and Jerry D. Uh, bless him, and Amy Schumer, I don't know if you've heard of her. And that was surreal and, and strange, but wouldn't wouldn't take it back either. That was, you know, being on a reality show, like you'd have those moments of like, oh, reality show? But it was great because um, even though it was in 07, I think, how long is this gonna last? People still, still love Joe and Last Comic Stand. I'm like, what? I mean, I, I, I didn't know the shelf life was as long as it would be. That exposure was, was huge. And also too, sort of all the advice that I got through Humber, made Last Comic Standing even better because there was a lot of sort of like sound bites and a lot of like little side interviews and no one ever wanted to do them. And I'd be like, I'll do them. And then I became the go-to girl. I got a lot of FaceTime. I got a lot of FaceTime because I was on time, I was ready to go and I wanted I wanted to be there. Is that Canadian? Yes! Uh, did Humber, you know, did Humber help with that? Yeah, it was, I wasn't gonna let the opportunity slip. You know what I mean? So I, I made the most of it and, and it, it served me well, for sure. I feel like to make it in stand-up, like there is, I feel like there's two sort of lanes. You know, there are these sort of the undeniable comedians, and then there are the people who go, I'm gonna be a comedian and make themselves into comedians, and they both succeed. You have to have a natural inclination for it, like there's gotta be something, but you can teach people, to, you can. It's a formula, you can. I've been very fortunate because people remember who I am. They connect with me. And it's because my I'm very honest on stage and I'm very vulnerable and I just let it happen. And I, um, I keep it personal and I, I wanna connect. And uh, there's nothing wrong with being a comedian that doesn't go personal and doesn't go deep because it's still funny. Funny is funny, I don't care what you do. I still feel very fortunate when people, you know, from video, well, watching video on trial go, I love you on that show. I'm like, that's what you want. Oh my God, I loved her. Like that, you know, that kind of, that thing. I want people to have connected with me. I, I really do, I hope that happens. And also you wanna be, you know, you wanna be respected by your peers. When you see people like in the crowd and you catch someone like just doubled over and they can't breathe and women come over and go, I feel, I feel sick. You're just like, yay, that's what I was going for, you know? And that's, there's, there's, it's, there's nothing better than that. It's completely addictive, especially in the world right now. It's like, you're being of service. People need to laugh. We need to laugh. We need to forget about things and have a giggle. And I, I love that I get to do that. I'm Deborah DiGiovanni and I'm a very proud Humber grad.